Hey guys, I'm Natalie, this is Hey It's A Good Life, and I'm so glad you're here. Today is episode 14 of the vlog. I've got a couple things I'm working on out here today, including I am replacing my Coco Husks, Coco Husk liners in my hanging baskets. I am replacing the Coco Husk liners in my hanging baskets. There we go, I got it. With a more sustainable, more budget-friendly material. And I will show you what I'm talking about in just a little bit. I also discovered, thanks to my friends on Instagram, that I have cabbage worms, cabbage caterpillars. I don't know, those things that eat the things in the Braskas family, I have them and I need some neem oil solution to get rid of them. So that's also on the agenda for today. I might also go check out the clearance section at Lowe's and see if I can find any flowers for cheap because it is time to get some pollinators in the garden. We have blossoms on our tomato plants and I don't know if there's any pollinators visiting. So we need to make sure that we're inviting those pollinators into the garden and getting that permaculture ecosystem going. So that's what's up for today. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I found a seed package that I actually haven't opened yet and it is called Flower Mix Hummingbird Heaven by Botanical Interests. I just love their packages, they're so beautiful. So it looks like it's got nasturtium, lupine, zinnia, hollycock, butterfly weed, Texas sage, phlox, rocket lark, spider spiderflower, godacea, bee balm, columbine, fenced mum, red hot poker, standing cypress, foxglove, flowering tobacco, and coral bells. Those all sound like really cool flowers, so I'm gonna try and plant some of these. I like to get the soil wet before I plant the seeds because otherwise sometimes the seeds pop out and go all over the place so this makes sowing a little bit more accurate. So I was thinking I might replant my milkweed in one of these containers and in checking to make sure that there were no monarchs on it, I found a baby monarch caterpillar. So what I'm going to do instead is figure out a way I can protect this plant so that no predators get to this little guy because I would love to see him grow and hatch into a butterfly. All right, I'm back. No, no plants from the clearance section at Lowe's worth buying. I decided I have so many seeds that I might as well just sow what I have and uh, wait for those and wait for those things to bloom and invite the pollinators in. Plus my zinnia and marigold are so close to having some flowers on them so I think it's worth just waiting and using what we have. On the note of my marigold and zinnia, they're also getting destroyed by those cabbage worms. I'm kind of upset with myself because I think I planted the cabbage worms in the garden when I planted the kale. I think that they were infected with them. So that sucks because um, now the disease is spreading. But, um, but I'm gonna hold out hope that with the power of YouTube, I can make a solution that will solve this problem. While I'm out here, I figured I would just show you guys what evidence of cabbage worm looks like. go around with cabbage worms so it's a good learning lesson as frustrating as it is definitely go with your instinct if you think that something that you purchased as a tiny plant uh, has been infected with something don't plant it don't plant it I shouldn't have planted the kale because I thought mm, I don't know about this kale but I planted it anyway and here we are so okay guys so I just did a bunch of research I thought I was gonna kill these cabbage worms with some neem oil dish soap solution but as it turns out I have stuff on hand that will work 
as well. So I'm going to use that instead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some fresh garlic spray. So I'm going to use that garlic spray and spray it on the plants. And then I'm going to cover those plants with diatomaceous earth. So that's the plan. Let's get started. All right guys, well that is it for me today. We accomplished quite a bit today, so I'm gonna call it a wraps. Plus, we have dinner plans to get to. So I'm gonna clean it up out here real quick and get ready for dinner. So glad that you guys dropped by the vlog today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more like this from me, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much you guys, and I'll see you next time.